James Kaufman, World News Report, today, September 8th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Huge filament eruption, earthbound, for September 10th impact. A filament of magnetism erupted on the sun this morning, September 8th, 2024. The blast hurled a coil of cool dark plasma towards Earth, seen here on SDO AIA at 304 angstroms. The blast looked as if it was generated by a filament associated with sunspot AR3821 and caused a large halo plasma eruption. And I will show you Lasco C3 and NASA's model of this coronal mass ejection. NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory recorded the explosion. The departing plume ripped a hole in the sun's atmosphere and formed the core of a coronal mass ejection. NOAA models suggest that a CME will reach Earth late on September 10th, potentially sparking a G2-class geomagnetic storm. During such storms, auroras can typically be seen with the naked eye in the northern tier U.S. states, such as Minnesota and Wisconsin. Cameras, including the ones found on smartphones, can detect them even further south in rural area states like Nebraska, Colorado, and Missouri. But remember, you're out there with radiation. Heading over to Lasco C3, we'll see the eruption right around 1 UTC time. This is the eruption right here, and you can see that it is a halo eruption, i.e. headed directly towards Earth, per NASA's Goodard is with spiral as well, which we'll take a look at next. Again, the filament that erupted was associated with sunspot AR3821 here that doesn't look very complex. Today, we also had a solar flare, an M1.55 magnitude solar flare directly Earth-facing and generated by sunspot AR3813. Let's take a look at that as well. Here is sunspot 3813, right below 3820. You can see that it is directly Earth facing. The peak of this solar flare was around 1530 UTC time. NASA and NOAA have yet to model any coronal mass ejection generated by that M1.55 flare. Taking a look at NOAA's Prediction Center, they're looking for a September 10th impact late in the day, as I mentioned, looking for a 5.33 to maybe a 6.0 KP index, maybe a G2 geomagnetic storm. Let's hope our shields are up. Again, late on September 10th. Over to NASA's Goodard is with Spiral, we see that NASA is predicting much of the same. So we will expect an impact, Earth being this yellow dot right here, late on the 10th here, in around 35 hours. That said, God bless you and yours, folks. It could be a double whammy if a chrome mass ejection was created from the M flare that was directly Earth facing. I will update you if that is the case. But for now, let's look for a G2 geomagnetic storm from about midday on Tuesday through Tuesday evening. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.